Ross in Worcester, Massachusetts. Charter TV3 presents live coverage of NCAA basketball. Tonight, Iona comes in from the big city, New York City, to take on Holy Cross in this non-league matchup. Hello, everyone, and welcome down to the floor. I'm Kevin Shea, joined alongside by former Holy Cross standout Jared Curry. And Jared, Holy Cross coming off of finals. They had a 10-day layoff, only two full practices. What are the keys to them getting back in it and shaking off the rust and winning here tonight? 10-day uh, break, finals are tough. And mentally tough teams come out fully focused with 100% energy right from the beginning. And that's exactly what they have to do. They cannot hesitate. Right from the opening tip, they got to get right after it. If they take a minute or two off, they're going to be in trouble early. So they can't do it. All right, it's Holy Cross and Iona. We're back for the opening tip off right after this. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. I absolutely love every minute of playing high school sports and just the feeling of going into the locker room before a game and how cool it was coming out in the whole towns all around the field cheering and, and it's just such a special feeling. Played basketball and golf at Auburn High. I was the captain of both teams my senior year. For me, I learned a lot because I played high school sports when I was at Auburn High School. I started back in March of 1997, and it was, it was a lot different then. I was the only person in sports. We were shooting on VHS tapes. I started in December of 2000. I was the assignment desk editor and the health watch reporter. I was also always a sports guy. You get paid to do things that you love to do, and for us, that's being on a ball field or a basketball court or just being around sports. Our enthusiasm, I think, for sports is contagious, and everyone gets swept up in it. It shows, in, I think, in our overall product in our sports that everyone cares. Welcome back, everyone, to the Heart Center. Kevin Shea with Jared Curry, and we're getting ready for Holy Cross and Iona. Take a look at the starting lineup. An old friend Eric Eaton, one of the assistant coaches for Iona, was an assistant here when Jared was here. He loved playing for Coach Eaton. Loved it. Great coach, great guy, knows his stuff. He's a Worcester guy. He's certainly going to have probably half the crowd is going to be uh, Eric Eaton fans tonight. Yes, he's uh, a special person to me. Um, again, I love playing for him. And, uh, and um, it's, uh, it's just good to see him. Good to see him here. Hopefully yeah. he loses, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's out. At one point, I believe he was named one of the top best dressed assistant coaches oh, yeah. in the country. Yeah, and he'll tell you, too. I, the moment I, you I, meet I, him. Yeah, he'll tell I you know, right away. Yeah. I know he will. <laughs> They got a good team. They got a lot. You know, one of the challenges when you're coaching at Iona, they have a lot of transfers. Yeah. So you're trying to build that team chemistry. Bill Carmody's playing a lot of freshmen in his third season here. So they're trying to get these freshmen acclimated to the college game. And yeah, and that's obviously, be it's a huge jump. Yeah, it is a huge jump, specifically for younger players. But what they need to do immediately with a team like Iona, who's very offensive-minded. They want to get on you, get on you quick in terms of scoring points. They need to make stops, and they need to make stops right away uh, to get in a good flow of the game to really disrupt what Iron is trying to do. So hopefully uh, right from the tip, they can uh, you know, shut them down pretty quick early and go from there. Yeah. Yeah. We're going with the backup mic, apparently. So <laughs> hold that for now. Um, yeah, one of the challenges, and you touched on it when you're coming off of uh, the finals, is you don't get a lot of practice time, and, and no, they no. only had two full practices uh, in 10 days. You know, the guys had a couple of days off completely and then just kind of doing some individual work in between finals. And obviously here at Holy Cross, academics come first. Absolutely, it does. But, you know, with 10 days off, away from just competition at this level, it's almost like starting the season all over again. It's like an early preseason. So 
Um, hopefully they're, they're, and I think they are, they're mentally tough enough to uh, get this going early and uh, make some stops. You and I were talking about it, but this place has changed a lot since, since you played here. It's, uh, it is incredible, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, it, it's just fantastic to see. I was awful proud walking in here a couple weeks ago, uh, seeing it for the first time. It truly is incredible. Um, I'm just happy that these kids get to experience something like this in terms of you know, just being part of these facilities. And hopefully uh, we can get some wins and uh, fill this place once again. Yeah, well, Holy Cross coming off a win. They beat yep. UNH here a week ago, a week and a half ago. Stopped a six-game skid. And here's the starting five for Holy Cross. Carl Charles, Connor Nego, Jahiva Floyd, Caleb Green, and Matt Zignorski, Ricky McGill, Zach Lewis, Deshaun Much, EJ Crawford, and TK Adogi. The starting five for Iona. Holy Cross wins the tip. Caleb Green, the freshman, will bring it up. Looks like they're in the 2-3 here, Iona. Here's Carl Charles, one of the leading scorers for Holy Cross. Three players averaging in double figures for the Crusaders, led by the freshman, Caleb Green. I love Caleb Green. I think he's going to be a, uh, a star very quickly. Good move. And here he is, nice going pass. strong. In confidence, you and I talked about confidence and being a competitor. And I think you see that early on with your freshman who has it and who doesn't. Oh, absolutely. And then, you know, and I think the coaching staff and the players on the team, they can see it pretty much from the first day of practice, who's ready to go and who's not. Um, but being a freshman at this level is, uh, can be tough, but I'm really excited about this freshman class. Well, the freshmen are certainly getting a lot of time. You'll see five, six freshmen playing here. And it's kind of a trial by fire. As Iona works it around, the three, out. and that's their shot. Oh, Watch there you go. You can't, you can't be giving up balls. Got to close on that one. Looks like, it, looks like we're in a 2 2 1 press here. Iona wants to make this a track meet if they can. They would love to get yeah, this. Very, yeah, very, very long team. That's exactly what they want to do. And so Holy Cross will pick their spots. Bill Carmody saying you can't play just one way, you can't just slow it down the entire time. You know, you got to run at times, but yeah. if you try to go head-to-head -head with them running, they're much better at it than you yeah, are. Yeah, you, you don't want to run with this team. Three on the shot clock. Zignorski gets it off in time. Doesn't hit the rim, so shot clock violation. Mm. Looks like we're in a 2-3 here. And here's Iona, Ricky McGill, the junior. But again, so many transfers, the junior college players on this Iona team. So they're getting better every practice, yep. every game, as they get used to each other and kind of everyone feels out their role and where each other's going to be on the court. Here's a three from Lewis. A good rebound. One of our issues that we've had all year is that we're uh, not a very good rebounding team. So it's good to see that uh, after the first missed shot, we can nab that rebound down. Zignorski for there three. Go. There you go. And That's we're all bad. tied up. I like Zignorski. He's a tough kid. He can shoot the ball. Um, smart player. You know, with a shot like that, he was wide open. You got to knock it down with what you did. 6-2, two, two, a 6-2 guard to come on. There shoot Zignorski with the steal. And last touch by Iona. It'll be Holy Cross ball. Good activity early on, hands are where they need to be, energy's good. And Green, they throw it around the arc, looking inside. Here's Floyd. Floyd go. good move. brings him some, good move. some length and strength. They really love to push the ball in on it. Yeah, they'd like the game in the 80s. Holy Cross would like to see it, you know, in the 50s, yes, 60s. Yes, exactly. Let's close out there. Another shot. Let's get this rebound. Got to get that rebound. Charles keeps it alive. And it will be Iona basketball with a fresh 30 on the shot clock.
And you can see I own a four guys around the arc. There's only one guy inside. Yeah. You know, you know what the yeah. game plan is. Yeah, they, they, they want to get quick reversal. Some nice hands there by Charles. Charles with the steal. The Charles get takes it himself up and in. Job. Holy Cross with their first lead of the ball game. Need. Extend them out. I mean, they're looking for the three ball, look at the second chance points. So us rebounding off these long shots are key. One of the things that St. John's did so well against them, my own last game out, a 10 point defeat to St. John's, was that they got a lot of deflections. It yeah. wasn't even steals, but a lot of deflections. I know Ralph Riller, your old coach, that was one of his big things, was deflections, and they kept the stat with it. We yeah, we counter. needed 40 deflections a game. That's what we needed in order to have an opportunity to win, to give us a 90% to 95% chance of winning. We needed at least 40 deflections, and it was tracked during games and also in practices. So we considered that as, as crucial as scoring two points. And that was the foundation. Those teams yeah. that you played on, it was defense. Defense, defense. first. Closeouts, box outs, charges, deflections, steals. Well, and you coach now, and that's probably one of the things that you're probably preaching to your kids oh, now. That absolutely. No matter what, you can play Good defense. Good charge right there. Good charge. Great job by Zagnorski. That's exactly what we need to do. This is a very athletic team. They want to attack the rim. Instead of trying to steal that up, hoping to go for a block, which would have been probably a guaranteed foul, he takes a great charge. Holy Cross has some momentum now. They have a lead as well, 5-3 Crusaders. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At Holy Cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch at UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. This is exactly what you need to do in this situation. Perfect charge. Um, again, they need at least three to five charges a game to be successful to have an opportunity to win, and that was just perfect. He didn't try to poke it or uh, block it, which would have been a foul. And uh, great job, Bezignorski. Here we are again in the 2 2 1. Good job. Yeah, and that's probably almost beating them at their own game Absolutely. when you use that speed and the, and the running against them. You're not going to be able to run and jump with them, so got to use the brain. Jahiva Floyd, no good. Floyd, Floyd worked extremely hard in the spring and the summer yeah, and has there. really improved his game. That's according to his coach, Bill Carmody. Yeah, he's having a great year so far. I really like his game. Athletic, strong, tough, and uh, attacks the room well. It's good energy right now from Harley Cross. Hands are a little bit down. This is a good job. They're extending the offense. Now we need a box out here and a rebound. Three. Good. And you get the rebound Good. from Nigo. Green brings it up. Charles on the wing. Carl Charles averaging 11 a game. Here's Nigo for three. Good rebound. Good rebound. Run it again. You get to reset it now if you're Holy Cross. In this 2 3 zone, I'd like to see him move the ball a little bit quicker. Ignorski just off the mark with the three. Lewis. Nice. Nice. Tried to feed it inside. Ah. They called the block on Floyd. His first. They're really extending this offense. They're really pushing them out, disrupting them uh, at, the, at the guard play, which is good to see. 
I think that's the first time they tried to get it inside. Yeah, I think you're right. It's been a perimeter yeah. approach. Again, if we can just keep pushing them out and let them uh, take these shots um, with the proper closeout and rebound, we should be in good shape. So Iona. See another deep three. Rebound. Good. Good. Here comes Green. Two freshmen in the lineup for Holy Cross. Floyd on the freshman. block. And you know, too, the difference of getting the freshmen game minutes and kind of the, the trial by fire so that they're ready for the Patriot League season. Yeah, it's uh, and a lot of things. You know, freshmen, are typically, what they have to be taught early on is, is the mental aspect of the game, the mental toughness of the game, because it is a grueling year. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to... Uh, um, to go through physically and mentally. It's not like, you know, in high school where you were the man, you were bringing up the ball, shooting the ball, um, doing what you want. Um, you have a specific role. And uh, freshmen at times, it doesn't look like these freshmen do, though, have a hard time uh, acclimating to that role. Cedric Kazmir coming off the bench for Iona. He hits the three, averaging five a game. Here's Nigo for three, no good. Floyd good battles and Floyd. knocks it away. That was one Floyd. on four. Yeah. One on four down low. Again, he's tough. He's athletic. Um, that's a great job. So Holy Cross with a one-point lead, 7-6. Floyd on the block. Kicks it back. Nice. Nigo for great three. Great job by Floyd getting the ball. Kicked it out. Very good job. I like Conor Diego. I think he's going to be a heck of a player. He's tall. Uh, he's only going to put on some more weight as the years go on. I think he's going to be a great, great player for this team. And yeah, he can shoot, too. He, he adds shoot. a lot. You're right, yeah. with a 6'8 kid that can run. Yeah. He's like a play with a guy by the name of Tim Zacco. He's like a skinnier version of Tim Zacco right now. <laughs> I remember Zacco. Uh, he was a great player. Coming from Illinois. So, we've got to close out on these threes. is looking inside to Floyd. Floyd's the only real post player out there for the Crusaders on the line. Essentially, it's a four-guard lineup. Yeah, it really is. You clearly can tell by how many uh, threes have been taken so far. Both teams, actually. We've got a timeout at the Hart Center. Holy Cross in front of Iona, 10-9. Come on back. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley. And I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, I'm Dale Page, And I'm Jennifer Ankoiak from Charter TV3's entertainment show, WooTube. Be sure to tune into WooTube every month for local music and comedy videos. And if you go chasing rabbits, try to raise them. Stand up and be counted. How can you take my... Interviews with local venue owners and upcoming events in your area. It's your music and your comedy videos, all the events you want to attend, and all the places you want to be. Woo -tube. All right, this series history tied up 15 apiece. Mm. Look at Holy Cross, though, a big advantage here at the Heart Center 11 and 2 over Iona. Looks like Pat Benson has joined. I love his game. Watched him through high school over at Boxbury Latin. Very good player, tough. His mother was a great player here. At yeah, Lincoln his Cross. sister is phenomenal at Harvard as well. Big time basketball fan. 
Nice. He's Gatlin, the manager of yep. the men's team yep. up here, too. So yep. you're right. They have the basketball in the blood and Holy Cross yep. in the blood as well. He's a very good player. He's a good leader. Um, he's very, very competitive, obviously, what you need. And again, I, I really like his game. Brings a spark for them yep, off the bench, too, does. according to Bill Carmody, that he really likes. Said he could start, and he started at the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. but just kind of adds something to us. Matt Faw, another freshman, is in the game for Holy Cross. Good cut, good cut. And there is Faw. There you go. Off the window for two, 6'9", freshman. Wow, another freshman. It's good to see. Here we are again in this 2-3, looks like. Iona's gone to the bench as well. Yep. Jan Svondrelik. Corner, just got to close that out. There's the three. Got to get a hand up Much there. nails it. The thing with this team, too, is we're all tied up at 12 now. This Iona team is, you can get up by six points, and they can come back oh, on clearly. you just like they, that. They do not hesitate taking these threes. And if they can catch fire, you know, they can put up. You know, 9 to, nine to 16, very quick on you. They believe any any shot's a good shot. <laughs> any shot you can get off yeah, is a good shot. I did not come from that world. <laughs> no, I you did Would have been nice to have that. <laughs> no, that was a much different <laughs> much different world yeah. when you were up yeah. here. Good stop there. Got to get shooting. a box out here. Right. And a three from the wing. That's Svandrelik. Facing up to the hoop. Yeah, well, I like this ball looks. I think we're holding the ball a little bit too much here on this uh, on this uh, good take by Green. Here's Green Great on take. the runner, taking it right at the defense. Let's see if we can get a stop here. I can't let up another three. Good job by Benzin. Face cut there on the ball. back door, wide open. See it. Yeah, you really have to extend defensively yep, against this Iona team. Yeah, and see how quickly they're moving the ball. That's why they're getting kind of these open shots. Going inside to Griffin. Got to get a rebound. Got to get that rebound. That has to be a Holy Cross rebound. Second and chance points. Here three from Kazmir. There's another no one good. here. Another rebound. Vondrelic with another offensive rebound. Second of this possession. Yeah, Floyd's coming back in exactly for that reason. See, two offensive rebounds lead to a three-pointer. CJ Seaforth. A freshman hits the three. Iona has a four-point advantage, 18-14. Green. Green and Benson, you have really two quarterbacks out there. Yeah, Here's a steal. Casimir really ahead of the pack Good and job. stolen Good back by Charles. There comes Benson. Holy Cross will run. Green looked at the three, pulled it down. I think that's a good decision right there. We need we need a really good shot here. Benzin up top. Again, three freshmen on the floor. Oh, Fouls good. underneath. Good. I thought that other ref was going to call a travel. And he would have been wrong. Seaforth picks up his first. It's been a relatively clean game, though, in terms of fouls. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know. Not a lot of drives, not a lot of penetrations, not kicking inside, just three-point uh, shootout here so far. Old playground basketball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Another freshman comes in. Well, two of them. Yeah, here's a three from there Anderson. Go. There you go. The freshman. Uh, Counter, they have a one point lead. Need to get a stop here. Another three, box out. Take. Nothing but net on the three from Ricky McGill. <laughs> Got a close out earlier on these uh, corner threes. They're moving the ball fairly well, pretty quickly. Iona has seven field goals, all of them are threes. <laughs> they don't have a single two point yeah. field goal yet in this yeah. game. Austin what? Butler, another freshman in, had a tremendous game against UNH. 
I like his game. He's tough. Again, another tough freshman. Um, doesn't seem intimidated at all. I got to see that UNH game. I really liked his approach. And he can shoot, too, as well. Benson gets it off. Rebound cleared by Griffin. Roland Griffin will bring it up. And lift for Number three. three. Eight field three. goals, all threes. Good job by Floyd there. That wasn't exactly a good pass by Benzin. He came to the ball and ripped it through. Good job. Nice cut. This freshman class for Holy Cross has a lot of length. You have Grandison out there at 6'6". Butler's 6'5". Here's Butler with an NBA three. High rebound. Floyd battled for it. Good job, Floyd. And kept it alive. It'll Good be Holy job. Cross ball. We've got a timeout on the floor. You are watching exclusive coverage of Holy Cross basketball on Charter TV 3. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At Holy Cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch at UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. Good ball movement here by Iona. You can tell they don't hesitate when they catch the ball. They move it very quickly for another open three. We got to make our adjustments and get out to these specifically corner wing threes quicker. Iona's doing a very good job again moving the ball. Iona's shooting 62% from three point range, yeah, eight of 13. That's the kiss of death right there. You're yep. not going to beat anybody if they're shooting 62% from the three. There's another three here. Nothing but threes, this one in and out. Floyd with the rebound. Yeah, Holy Cross hit 11 threes against UNH. Bill Carmody said, though, this is a team, Iona, they shot 33 threes against St. John's. Wow. That's an incredible amount of three-pointers. There's another three here. Carl Charles, no good. We can't keep shading three-point shots like this. Here's another wide opening. No, that's their yeah. game. Yep. That is their game. Cedric Kazmir has his third three of the ball game. There's a timeout by Carmody here. He's calling for a timeout. Oh, waved it off. Nine field goals, all threes for Iona. And they have their largest lead of the ball game, a 10-point advantage over Holy Cross. The Gales coming off that game to St. John's. They played Syracuse earlier in the year. They're a good team, athletic. They clearly can shoot the ball. And uh, some of the shots they're knocking down, they're, they're, they're wide open. You know, it's not exactly they have a hand in their face. So I, we got to um, make our rotations a lot quicker than what we're doing right now because at this pace, if they keep knocking down, heck, even 50% of their threes, this is yeah. going to be uh, ugly quick. How much of that, too, is do they have to, do you have to anticipate the pass when you're playing defense? Yeah, it, you, your rotations have, well, first things first, you've got to communicate. And I'm standing right here, and I don't think they're communicating that well. Um, uh, Specifically from the guards there. up top. There's, yeah, there's Eric, Eric Eaton. There he is. He's the best. He's got. I know he's got a bunch of buddies here from Worcester <laughs> that are yeah. in the crowd tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure they're all here. He's a Worcester legend, Eric Eaton. Yes, he is. <laughs> he played his high school ball at Doherty High School. Yeah. Tremendous he's high school great career player. and college great career. Player. 
coached at Assumption, coached here at Holy Cross. Good shot. There's Butler for three. It's a nice shot, it's a good three, but that's deep. Um, again, we can't keep trading three corners back and forth with this team. We gotta get a stop here. No, and that's what Coach Carmody said. That, you know, we can't play their game. We're not gonna no, beat them. We're not gonna outscore game. anybody. A run and gun, taking 33 three threes is not our game. No. Casimir looked at the this, three. This Casimir, he's a good player. That's a great player. That's McGill great. for three. Cashmere, he's a heck of a player, Dry, getting into the teeth of the defense, drawing the defense, kicking it out again to another open three. Grandison and Green bringing it up for Holy Cross. Two freshmen, young guns. There are three freshmen in the lineup for Holy Cross right now and Love two it. juniors. Love it. Charles for three on the wing, no good. Another three. Stop the ball. Stop the ball. We're gonna good have a job. Two, a two good point. job, Butler. And the charge Attaboy. is taken by Butler. Great job by Butler there. Stepping up, taking the charge. I really like that kid. Here he comes, sees it, good rotation, steps up, plants his feet, doesn't move, good charge. Nice job. Tough way to draw a foul, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you got to do it, though. You got to do charge. it, you know? If you don't want to do it this level, you're not going to see the floor. Get some pressure here. One, two, two. Holy Cross trails Iona 30 to 20 with 4.10 to play in the first half. Here's Butler for three. Wow. Long rebound, a high rebound. I'd like Gill. to see them move the ball a little bit more. Quicker. McGill looked at the three to much. Griffin inside the first two point field goal of the night for Iona. First two point field goal of the night. That's incredible. Isn't it? They had 10 threes before that first two-point field goal. Imagine if during your era you guys came out and just shot threes. Ah, uh, you know, Willard would have forfeited the game and kicked us out of the gym. <laughs> it just wouldn't have happened. But you know what? It's not just our team back then. It's also that the game has changed so much. You're right. Um, I mean, look at both of these teams. Have been, you know, they have no problem shooting these amount of threes. And, you know, they're knocking them down, though. Right. You know, Iona is knocking these shots down, so. Another offensive rebound Another, from the Gales. That, that's going to kill us, not just against Iona, but in the long run. We have to do a much better job offensive rebounding. Here's Svanderlich. And you mentioned this about they're getting open looks at the three. And Svanderlich, with a lot of time, hits his third three of the night. Yeah, the, um, you know, it, maybe at this point, uh, you know, maybe switch from man to man or something like that uh, because their rotations are too slow. Iona's moving the ball very well. See how quickly they move the ball here. Look how wide open he is. Uh, one person in the vicinity of him. Any average player at this level is going to knock down that shot on a routine basis. Svanderlich has three threes for Iona. He is three for four from the field. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it is not bad, huh? Tim yeah. Kloos, there he is, the head coach yeah. of Iona. And there's Bob Chesney. The new football coach here at Holy Cross just introduced today. What Former a great coach year. at Assumption College and led Assumption to three straight NCAA appearances. This year they went all the way to the Elite Eight. They awesome. were finished the year ranked ninth in the country. It's fantastic. Great hire. A team uh, that uh, that program had two winning seasons in the previous 17 years before he got there. It's they had five straight winning seasons. It just goes to show you, like, you know, how important Division II, low. Uh, division one, mid-major Division one coaching is, is, is it's pretty much everything. It really yeah. is. And uh, no knock on Tom Gilmore. I loved him. I thought he was a great. I did coach, too. Great, he was awesome. Great person. Um, but this is just a great hire, and I think you're going to see immediate impact um, with that team and that program moving forward. Yeah, we'll hear from him at half. Brenna Wilson sits down with Coach Chesney one on one. The students are all gone home for breaks. So you don't have a a big crowd here tonight because of the break. And what's it like, too? What was it like as a player when you had this? You'd play early in the season, you'd get some crowds, and then you'd have the break, and you don't get as many people yeah, uh, well, in you the know, games. I was, I was used to no crowds my first two years here. <laughs> you know, that no one would show up. That's and I, don't, I didn't blame them because the product we were putting on the floor. <laughs> but um, uh, it's not fun. It's really not fun. But, you know, they get some wins under the belt. There's nothing better than a packed heart center. There really isn't. It's, it's electric. Um, and... Uh, 
I'm pretty sure we'll get there so. Boy, you just look at this freshman class, and you look at when we were saying before with three freshmen and two juniors out there, and that's your starting lineup, too. Oh, yeah. Everyone's coming back. Yep. Everyone comes yep. back. Zignorski. Good day. Good day. Another open three. Oh, he yep. turned it down. That's shocking. <laughs> look at he's shaking his yeah, hand, too. He shocking. knew he had it. That is shocking he turned that down. <laughs> they, don't, yeah. they don't pull it down much. No. There's much with the gold sneakers, too. I like the sneakers. <laughs> Almost a little Usain yeah. Bolt. <laughs> That's a good three. Good footwork there. Good rebound, though. But, Kevin, back to your point about these freshmen, I think one of the reasons why we were successful my senior year is because, you know, Juan Pegas and myself, we got a lot of playing time early on. Now, granted, we were not successful early on, but a couple years later, we were. Right. It, is, it is huge, the experience you get as a freshman to get in these big heavy games. And the confidence you can Absolutely. build, and then even figuring out Absolutely. That's how much you have to hit the weights. Oh, because yeah. Because like you said, it's so much different. In high school, you're bringing it up, you're doing it all, and you can do it on athleticism or yep. just being bigger than most of the other kids. And then you yeah. get to college. And Bucknell oh. always had some woodsman from New Hampshire. That was like <laughs> six, yep. six, 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 seven, yep. but he was like 250. looked like Gronkowski. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, when I got here, it's just... You know, the whole league and everyone we played, the bench are full of six, five, you know, two threes. Right. You know, everyone has those. So um, it is an adjustment. And that, that last rebound by Butler, I really like this kid. Um, he's ready to go. And uh, again, it is a big adjustment. And um, hopefully these freshmen will keep progressing the way they are. It used to be, I mean, the Patriot League was like the old Big East when you were playing. It was physical. They yeah. would let you pound. Yeah, low scoring games, rock fights. Yep. Um, Highly competitive. I mean, we really didn't, even the teams at the bottom of the league, you were, you, were, uh, you were in for a game, no matter who you played. And it's a tough league, you know? There's, you're driving everywhere. Yep. Um, you're not really flying that many places. And, you know, going to Hamilton, New York in February is the coldest place Ooh. on the planet to play cold games. Some white knuckle bus oh, rides. Oh, man. Oh, man. Builds character. <laughs> Driving yeah. through the snow. <laughs> Coach Willard loved that with his back. Uh, yeah. He loved those bus <laughs> rides with yeah. his bad back. Yeah. I'm sure Josh thank us the same way, his oh, yeah. back. And Josh went. I, actually, I don't know if it was Josh or Pat Wordy. He leaned side to side on the bus and kicked the window out. Coming home from, I want to say, Lafayette. And uh, we drove home three hours in February with no window in the bus. <laughs> Thank God we won that game because that would have been even. That worse, would have been tough, you know. Watching <laughs> film another with a loss. Yeah, another three. McGill has his third three. Thirty seconds to play in the first half. 38-23. Iona in front. Kevin Shea along with Jared Curry. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Holy Cross with their first great, first game after finals. We need to get one shot here, let this clock wind down, hopefully get a good shot, get some kind of momentum going yep. into the half. See how we're holding the ball here? I'd like to see it move a little bit quicker. Make the defense move their yeah, feet a little exactly. bit, wear them out. Exactly. That's a good pass. Got a Zignorski down. for three. Uh, good rebound by Grayson there. Good uh, attack in the rim. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to sprint you back see back. the athleticism there, Grandison. Nice. Oh, what a block, block by, by Floyd. Floyd. Great ball by Floyd. Jahiva Floyd Get in, gets Floyd. up, and he almost had one a half quarter from Zignorski at the hustle. buzzer, goes off the rim. But Floyd with a huge defensive play, and that's all hustle. Yeah, that's what, I mean, he sprinted 90 feet there. Tried to get the rebound, was boxed out pretty good. He sprinted all the way back. Made a LeBron block. Yep, you're right. Very and good. And that's it. The young players can see that, though. You don't drop your head and loaf it up, up court afterwards. You sprint back and make a play. You should do, or you'll be on the bench. <laughs> All right, we're at the half. Iona in front of Holy Cross, 38-23. And okay, we'll come back, and when we do, we will introduce you to the new head coach, football coach for Holy Cross, Bob Chesney. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. 
Local sports have a unique way of bringing families together, bringing generations together, bringing neighbors together. In Central Mass, you have families that have been here for years and you have grandparents that played at a certain high school and they're watching their grandson or granddaughter play at their same high school. And there's something real special about that. Everyone comes out on a Friday night for football or to support the basketball team or the softball team and everyone wants to support their team and everyone feels whether or not they have a son or daughter playing or even if they don't know anyone on the roster, they come out because they went to school there or they're from that town. And for us to be able to cover that is really unique, really special and really gratifying. We'll run into people all the time, whether they're home from college or they're visiting family and they don't live in the area anymore. Or they'll say, hey, how's my team doing? You know, how are these guys going to be this year? And so people remember where they came from. They remember their high schools. They remember their playing days. And if you were from here, you know how unique and how special it is that you can get coverage of your high school and your college. We have a bond with uh, the community. They appreciate us. We appreciate them to hear people cheer for you when you show up because you're just there covering the game. We're not the game, but it's cool. <laughs> I've had people tell me that we've brought high school sports to a whole new level in Central Mass because of the way we cover high school sports and cover them like they're professional athletes. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch and UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. Welcome back, everyone, at the half. Iona in front of Holy Cross 3823. Earlier today, Bob Chesney was introduced as the new head football coach here at Holy Cross, and our own Brenna Wilson had a chance to sit down with the new Crusaders head coach. So Bob Chesney coming over from Assumption, five years there, three trips to the NCAA tournament, including getting the Hounds all the way to the Elite Eight this season. They just finished nationally. The final rankings in Division II, they were ranked ninth in the country. Before that, three seasons as the head coach at Salve Regina. Three winning seasons at Salve, playing in the championship for two years. And now we'll send it to that interview with Brenna Wilson. Welcome back, I'm Brenna Wilson, and I'm joined with the new Holy Cross football head coach, Bob Chesney. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. And Very congratulations, much. Yes, too. yeah, thank you. So excited to be here. So excited to move across town <laughs> and, uh, you know, really, really thankful for the opportunity. What do you think makes you a good fit here at Holy Cross? I think my background, you know, has a lot of the, of the similar, you know, philosophies that Holy Cross has. I think as you look at what we've done at Assumption, you look at what we've done at other places we've been, the men and women for others is not something that falls on deaf ears for us. I think that I understand that, it, you know, football, although it is, you know, vitally important to the existence of our players. At the same time, we expect them to be doing a lot more for themselves on a day-to-day -day basis than just worry about football. So I think that being you know very near and dear, obviously, to what this in entire school is about allows us you know, and allows me to be able to come in here and relate very quickly and at the same time be able to spread that, that, that uh, mission to our players. And you kind of said it earlier, what does it mean that you're able to kind of further your career without having to uproot your family? You can just stay right here in Worcester. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, momentum and timing are really two really big things. And, you know, the, the timing of this and the momentum that we had, you know, puts us in a pretty nice spot where you're right to, to have a three, a five and a seven year old at home and not have to do any changing other than my drive from being a two minute commute is now a seven minute commute, which makes it really <laughs> difficult. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's definitely something that, you know, is very comfortable and, and makes this a lot easier. We were able to stay and, and immediately get into this recruiting class. Uh, everything went down on, on Thursday and, and by the time, you know, Thursday afternoon I was in here with the team and then we were breaking down recruiting film all Thursday, Friday, Saturday and, and here we are today. What challenges are there for a new coach coming into a program and, and kind of learning what you already have in place? Yeah, well, there's no kids here right now. So right. because we don't have our players, it's a little bit difficult. So we're going to do it more through a 
quantitative approach and maybe more of a technical approach of what are their some of their testing numbers? What are their uh, what's what what shows up on the field? You know, what are the things that we think they're strong at or weak at? But we haven't seen them. You know, we haven't seen them in person to really be able to know what type of you know person that is, and and not only person, but you know what type of uh, how how important is football to them? These are all questions that we need to ask. So as far as like understanding exactly where we're at as a team, we don't know, and that's probably one of the biggest challenges. And, and it's going to be taking time to get to know these these players on a personal level. You never want it to just be where where they feel like they're commodities for us as coaches. This needs to be done together, and that's going to take some time. Now you've been in Worcester for a few years. You've been able to see this program. Do you think the co components are in place to get the wins and yeah. have a good season? Yeah, right yes, I, I 100 percent do. I think as you look at this program, and I've been watching you know, from a distance, actually been to a bunch of practices and a few games as well. And I think the thing that, that you pay attention to is the life after football component that exists here with anyone who graduates from the college. And as you, you talk about just how successful they are and how good they are and how good of people they are when it comes down to it at the end, that resonates throughout all of our community. When you think about a lot of the people that I've gained some of my closest relationships with, a lot of them are, are from here. Um, so, you know, that being said, I think you know we're we're in one of those positions. Are we, are we actually live right now? All right. So as as we're in one of those positions, I think it's it's one of those things where I just have to get to get a good feel for for everything that's here and just make sure that it's exactly what we had thought. But I think as far as the elite ability for life after football, and then the second thing when you come back to it and say, well, were there the facilities? And those are now at a whole different level. And now you talk about the football being that third element. Right. That's what I think you know we need, and, and I think we can be in a position to, to right. have. Now, the Luth Athletic Complex, you'll yes. be able to use that for recruiting. How important is that for you? Well, I think you know, the just regular daily use is something that I think a lot of programs struggle with in the Northeast. And when you think about the fact that, you know, you're in a situation where there's snow, there's there could be a lot of different things. We're practicing early in the morning. There's cold weather, you know, policies in place. To be able to say to recruits, this facility is as good, if not better, than a lot of other places right. you're going to look at uh, on this level. I think you could go up a level and do the same thing and still find that these facilities are, are some of the best facilities that, that you're going to, you know, you're going to come across in the entire Northeast. Right, I was saying, in the Northeast, you never know. It could be October, you could get snow, you could be 70 degrees like it was this year. You, you just never know. Right. But um, you've had success with turning around programs at Salve and Assumption. Mm. What do you kind of attribute that to? I think, it's, for me, it, it has nothing to do with me, I think that has a big a big part of it. I think it has to be a collaborative effort. It has to be something where, as a team, we look at it and say, "What are our goals?" and 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 let's be really serious about these goals and let's be realistic about these goals. And then once we figure out what those goals are, putting a plan in place. I my job is to merely keep these guys on task. You know, if it's only my vision and they don't share that same vision with me, there's there's no way that we can be very very successful. So for me, it's an idea of what what do we hope to get out of this, mm -hmm. right? And then. My job is to keep these people on track and keep our student athletes on track. So that I think is a collaborative effort, everyone feeling like they have a piece of the pie where it's not just my program, mm -hmm. but it's ours, even the communities. I think those are the things that, that allow people to get behind it, allow the players to get behind one another and to get behind the coaches. And obviously their strength in numbers. So that plays a, a key part in, in anything we've ever been able to do. Now you've been in Worcester for a while. How would you kind of describe the community as football fans? As Mm, yeah, so it reminds me a lot of, of where I come from. I come from a little coal mining town back in Pennsylvania. And, and to me, that, you know, that blue collar, tough, you know, community that, that I grew up in, I see a lot of similarities here. There, you know, football is something that everybody's very, very passionate and, and passionate about. And football here at Holy Cross is certainly something that they're very passionate about. So, you know, that's something that, that I understand is a, a, a big test. And I understand is, you know, cuts our work out for us, you know, and I, I just feel like, you know, we got the right guys in place. This team is a team that's, you know, wants to be great, and we just got to help them take that next step. Holy Cross has a storied history in mm -hmm. the athletics program. What does it mean to be a part of that? Now? Well, I think anytime you walk into some, a place that has a history, that automatically allows players that want to be great, like exists here, 
to relate to it. You know, and I think that for me is something that you know we're going to have to do a really good job of communicating with the recruits and also understand, look back at this, look back at all the successes that have come from this. It's time, it's time that we get back here. It's time for you to put it sort of etch your name in the record books that exist. You know, of all the great that you have seen done here before, now it's your time, you know? So, so what accomplishments can we do together to put ourselves in that position? And what are you most looking forward to starting this? new adventure. I think meeting, you know, meeting the players and, and meeting the team. That's something, again, like I said, we had a team meeting. It was very, very quick, very short, and it was just not one of those things that we we had a lot of time together. And I think developing relationships, as good as those relationships can be, will tell us how good our team could be. And, and that's something that certainly we just have not had enough time together to do that. That's what I'm most looking forward to. Awesome. Well, congratulations. We're looking forward to the new season. We'll have more of the game after the break. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At Holy Cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. Hi, I'm Dale LePage. And I'm Jennifer Ankowiak from Charter TV3's entertainment show, WooTube. Be sure to tune into WooTube every month for local music and comedy videos. And if you go chasing rabbits, try to raise me. Stand up and be counted. Interviews with local venue owners and upcoming events in your area. It's your music and your comedy videos, all the events you want to attend and all the places you want to be. WooTube. WooTube. And we're proud to lead with high school sports stories because we know that's important to our viewers, that's important to our communities. I think it's incredibly unique because you just don't see this amount of coverage other places. We can do five and six minutes at 10 o'clock, whereas other stations might do two and a half minutes, and of that, 30 seconds is on high school sports. It's very easy to be enthusiastic watching these guys play, whether it's high school football or field hockey or lacrosse. When you see somebody make an outstanding play, you're kind of fired up about that. I come back and I'm like, Kev, I couldn't believe this play I saw in this game. And to see and to kind of be able to capture some of those magic moments when you're there to witness history. That's really cool. We're out there every day shooting the games ourselves and coming back and editing it and writing it ourselves. You get a certain insight that you don't get if you're, say, in a press box. We never forget the players that come from Central Mass, those that are lucky enough to play professional sports. We follow them in the pros. We never forget those guys coming from Central Mass. I've had people come up and say to me that, you know, we still watch and we're still fans because they can watch on TV. Has it brought fans to the game? Has it impacted local sports? I hope so. Coaches tell us it has. Certainly our goal is just to, just to cover the game and to really highlight the positive of, of high school and, and local college sports. And we're enjoying what we do and that I hope that comes across. There's no other place I'd rather be and there's no other job I'd rather do. First half was a three-point shooting barrage. Yeah, it's, you know, whether you're playing Iona or anybody, if you allow a team to shoot like this, I mean, from the, from the three-point line, they're shooting 61% from the floor, and from the floor, or from the three-point line, excuse me, from the floor, they're shooting 57%. So not even to talk about offense for Holy Cross, but if they keep you know, defending like this, I mean, there's, there's a very, very small chance they're gonna get a victory. They gotta get some stops, maybe, hopefully, See if they could change up the defense, maybe go to a man-to-man -man and switch up the zone a little bit. But something has to be done. The rotation is too slow. They hit 11 of 18 threes. It's just, they, they, they got to get some stops, and they got to get them stops right now. Here's your first half statistics. And the three-point shooting percentage, like you said, 60% for Iona. 
That tells you everything you need to know. 12 of 20 from beyond the arc. They're out rebounding Holy Cross. Turnovers yeah. are even, the points off turnovers in favor of Holy Cross. Crusaders shooting 36% overall, and 36% from beyond the arc. I mean, but the, both, the crazy thing is not a single team even attempted a free throw in the no, first half. It, it, it's, just, it's just a three-point shooting contest back and forth. But to, to give to give some perspective, you want to hold the team 40% and under from the floor. And, you know, we're not even close to that right now. So they got a lot of work to do this second half. And uh, hopefully they can get it done. Yeah, this is playing into the, the hands of the way that Iona likes yeah, it, the tempo-wise, scoring-wise. And the score indicates that. Right. Another three. Long rebound, and it's good block. taken there. Good job by Holy Cross on the Back steal. Top. Another Open three. McGill. Another rebound. Holy Cross is ball. There. E.J. Crawford battling for a couple rebounds for Iona. Long shots equal long rebounds. We got to start boxing out and get the. I mean that was, that was Iona's ball right there. Yep. We got lucked out a little bit. Um, but we got to secure these rebounds specifically. If they do miss any of these shots, we can't give them any second chance points. They're just shooting too good. Yeah. Although here in the second half they've started off 0 for 3. 60 percent in the first half. Green looking for help. Here's Floyd taking it to the rack, knocked away. It Good will move. remain Holy Good Cross move. ball. Good ball movement there. I like to see uh, Floyd attack the rim instead of taking that 12-footer there. That was a good play. Hopefully we can get on the free throw line this half since we did not in the first half. Nine seconds on the shot clock for Holy Cross. Steal from Iona. McGill good on push. the break, out running. Fouls on the floor. So we will not get a free throw yet. I like these guards from Iona. They really push the ball hard. They get it off the floor quick. Yeah, there's no such thing as just, okay, let's get up. Let's see what the defense is doing. No, Everything no. is attack, attack, attack. And when you're going up against a zone where the rotations are, are slow and you're attacking and passing the ball as quickly as they are, you're going to get open shots. Another three. Crawford with a deep three. Seven different players have scored for Iona. Six of those seven have threes. Unbelievable. Good passing from Holy Cross. They'll try to take a page out of Iona's book there and move it quickly. Green for three. Rebound by Adobe. Ball. Good steal. These Green guys got to sprint pack. with him. They got to sprint. Look oh, at these beautiful two play by Adogi, but Carl Charles is there for the offensive rebound. And another. Count it. Charles will go to the line Charles. with a chance for a three point play. Charles was the only one that sprinted back on that open layup. I mean, you learned that in first, second grade. When there was an open layup, you have to sprint behind your teammate to get the offensive rebound, which is exactly what just happened right there. Yeah, Dogie with the block, and there's Charles. Good job by Charles. But you see in the backcourt, there's three Holy Cross players standing in the backcourt. They need to be up. Charles completes the three-point play. He has Good five points Charles. tonight. Not a single senior on this roster for Holy Cross. The entire team comes back next year. Looks like we're in that 1-3-1 zone now. 41-26, Iona with the lead. Gets a 1-3-1, three. One, you get a lot of corner threes just like that if you move the ball quick enough. Looks like they jumped in a, I think it was a 2-1-2, two, two. but again, you'll get a lot of open corner threes if your rotations are too slow, and that's exactly what happened there. Kazmir hits the three. See how it's we're holding fourth. the ball here? We gotta move it quicker. Kazmir came in averaging five points a game. He's got 12 right now. He's a good player. Iona's entire, entire starting five averaging in double figures. All right around the same. Going from 10 up to 13. Well, I can believe it because they get enough shots up, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Ignorski to the corner. Good shot. Nice little catch and shoot from Matt Fall. Good shot by Fall. Good catch and shoot. Didn't hesitate. Footwork was good. Nice play. Another three. Crawford for three. Crawford's heating up. He didn't have any in the first half. He's got two threes here in the second half.
They're doing a good job on this, uh, this three-quarter court press here just to basically slow down Holy Cross. Yeah, if you look, they're not really cross. looking for a steal. They're just looking to slow him down a little bit, take about eight to ten seconds off the clock. And that's what they're doing. The yeah. majority of Holy Cross's shots have come with under ten seconds yeah. on the shot yeah. clock. Here's another 40-footer. Oh. I mean, that, that's a great shot by Butler. He knocked it down, but we can't rely on those type of shots. I mean, he shot that by the hash mark. Three seconds on the shot clock. Another three. Drills it. And Iona comes right back and says, hey, that's our game. Kazmir hits his fifth three of the night. Gotta move the ball. Look at the corner. Another three. Wow. Ball, no good. Casimir the rebound, and they'll push it up quickly. Good job. Alley good oop run. and the foul on Holy Cross. Doji had a closeout here for Iona, and he sprinted back. Good play by Zagnorski to get a hand up. But we got to get back quicker on defense. Jahiva Floyd and Carl Charles checking back into the game for Holy Cross. Two of the freshmen check out. Nigo and Faw. Jack Dorcott, good play. In and out. That's a page out of Bill Carmody's offense. Yeah. Nice back to cut. Got to make the layup, though. Caleb Green did a good job recovering. Good take. Go. And Floyd throws it down, and he's fouled. That's the more that. Got to get it inside. Got to get more of an inside-out game against these guys. We're not getting it inside nearly enough. That's a great play by Floyd, but a very good pass as well. Floyd with a good dunk. See if that sparks his team. Nice there pass. Good dunk. Good job. Crusaders trailing by 17. We're back with more from the Heart Center after this. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At Holy Cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch at UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. Good cut here by Floyd. Good pass by Charles. Good power dribble wow. up, strong finish. We need to do more of this in the second half. I'd like to see more of an inside out game from Holy Cross going forward. Floyd converts on the three-point play. He gets a quick, too. Yeah, you're Real right. quick. And he's a good example, too, of a kid who, you know, was getting five or six points a game as a sophomore, but really worked oh, you could tell. in the summer. Absolutely. You could tell he's put a lot of work into his game. Looks like he's put on some weight. Big, strong kid. And one of the leaders, too. Yeah, yeah. Got to get him the ball. Right. <laughs> Got to get him the yeah, ball. Yeah, you're right. Again, here's that, that, that press that looks like they're just kind of slowing Holy Cross down here a little bit. Good pressure on the ball. Here's Charles for three. Not a Floyd good shot. got a hand on the rebound, and here comes Kazmir. Up and under, hands it off. And a layup by Adogi. 
That's the problem with the three-point shot when it's on. You know, it's on. You can extend a really big lead, but if you miss and you've got a very athletic team, you've got to get back as quick as possible. As you yeah. mentioned, too, it's long shots, long, long rebounds. Shots, so it long plays rebounds. into a yep. team's hands that wants to fast break and run, run. Yep. Again, they got to get it inside. Get it to Floyd right here. Give him the ball. Floyd on the block. Working on a doggy. They that's collapsed not a, That's down. not a bad shot. You know, went inside, kicked out. I don't mind that three. Crawford yep. kicks it to the corner. McGill for three. Another offensive rebound. Doggy with a big offensive rebound. He'll dribble it out himself. You're right, though. The offensive rebounds have been killers, and it seems like every time Iona gets one, gets a second opportunity, that they convert. You know, when I played, I hated playing against really good three-point shooting teams, again, because they were long rebounds. And your box outs had to be a lot more intense because you're extending yourself way out of the key. So it is a harder rebound. But again, you got to get them. You got to get the box out, you got to get the close out, and you got to secure the rebound. There can't be any second chance points, specifically against a team like Iona, who will knock down those second chance points. Yeah, they certainly do make you pay for it. An 18-point yeah, really lead for Iona. We've had very few stoppages in play. Yeah. McGill didn't expect the pass to come his way. Get inside, give him the ball. There you go. Move. Here's Floyd. Swing. Swing. Good take. Floyd Good take. throws it down. Love it. Love it. Inside out game. Get it in, kick it out if you have nothing. Rotate the ball quick and attack. And there's that confidence, too, when you have a guy who's going to elevate and throw it down like that. It is. It's a it's big confidence. It's a basically. spark for yep. your team. Yep. All the cross has to attack the gaps. That's what we were taught when we played here. We've got to attack the gaps. And the last couple of possessions, they seem to be doing that. Here's a three rebound. from Iona. Good. Floyd with the rebound. The Iona coaching trees. Something we'll talk about. Kevin Willard, your old head coach, Ralph Willard's son, was a coach here yep. Great at coach. Iona. Great coach. Three years. He's at Seton Hall right nice now. Pass. Nice pass. Nice pass. Anderson. He's doing a great job at Seton Hall. Um, great coach. You know, he comes from a, a family of, uh, of basketball. You know. That's right. Holy not Cross just Not just with his father, but that whole entire coaching tree. That's true. Holy Cross assistant coach Joe Kennedy's father, Pat, was a, is a Hall of Fame coach. Coached at Iona for years. McGill on the drive. Good drive finish. by McGill there. Floyd needs to either attempt to block that or take a charge. Jeff Rulin, former NBA good star. Move. Good move. And one. Count. Very good move. Finally, we're starting to get into the teeth of the defense a little bit. Good job. So Grandison's got 10 points. The freshman coming off the bench. For Holy Cross. Good move here. Again, get to the paint. Nice up, up fake. Footwork was good. We got to do more of that. I really like this kid's game. Again, for a kid this size, that footwork, that move, that's big time. Yeah. 6'6. Six, six. And that's one of those things, too, that it's, you know, against Iona, it may not stand out as much as some of the Patriot League teams. Yeah. The kid who's 6'6, six, six, who can handle the ball like he can, can oh, yeah. run. I'm excited about this kid. But again, that's something we got to do more. We got to get to the paint. Get in, draw the defense, kick it out, or <laughs> do a very good athletic move. Iona. Looks like we're in the, uh, that's a moving screen. Good job. Let's get some momentum here. We've got some momentum, a couple good stops. Let's get another good shot. Let's get it inside and out, move the ball quick. Like to see us again get to the line a little bit here. The Hart Center record for three-pointers made by a team is 15. Iona has tied that tonight. They've already have 15. We've got 12-12 to play in the game. When was that original I don't know. We'll set. have to find out when that record was set. 15 threes. Fifteen threes, that's incredible. I couldn't imagine taking 15, 15 threes. Fifteen threes team. made, and you yeah. still got 12, 12 it's to play in the game. It's 
crazy. They what they had 33 threes against St. John's. Yeah, talking to Coach Eaton before the game, he said, you know, of course when I played with, for Coach Eaton, we hung our head on defense. It was defense, 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 and rebounding. He said it's a completely different mindset with Iona. They want to get up and go and get the shots up. Right, they want to beat you 80 to 75. Oh, yeah, they want a high scoring game. We got a timeout of the floor. Holy Cross will talk things over. Iona in front, 54 41. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At Holy Cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch at UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. Here we go again with Holy Cross. Again, getting in the, uh, into the lane, dumping it off to Floyd for a nice dunk. But again, the ball went inside. Very good play. Hopefully we can start attacking the gaps more like we have in the last couple of possessions. Watch the lob. What boom. He almost had the alley-oop. Adogi was up there for it. I think he was kind of caught yeah. in between. Can I slam it yeah. or do I have to try to lay it in? But you know what? That's a good job by Butler there, not giving up on the play, uh, getting in there on the lob. And that wasn't even his side of the defense and uh, just securing that rebound. That's a good job. Here's Ben's Give in the, the ball. ball game. Give him the ball. Floyd, power good, move. Good, good, good. That's the hook shot, too. Good Coach Carmody right. talked good. about that before the game, that he's really worked on that hook shot. Now he's got that going. You look at his size, that's a oh. tough shot to defend. It's, it's almost unguardable, you know? But again, I like to see him get that shot more, so we got to get him the ball. We got to get a stop here. Got to get a stop here. Lewis looked at Another the three, corner three. Kicks it to Good the block. Corner. Great close out. That's what I'm talking about. Great job by Floyd. Give him the ball. He's running the floor. Look He's at him. He's the first guy off the court for Holy Cross. Great job. Energy's a lot better this half so far. Good cut by Benzie. Holy Cross looking to make a run here. They trail it by 11. Give him the ball. Move. Move. Do Eight seconds on the shot clock. Floyd spins. Here we go. Get a stop. Now we got to get another Floyd's stop. Floyd's taking this team on his back good. right now. Time out. Good. Good. We're getting the ball inside. Benz is doing a good job. Butler's doing a good job bringing the energy up. We're moving the ball a little bit better, but more importantly, it's getting inside. Nine points for Floyd. Holy Cross making a run here. They have cut the lead to single digits. They're on a seven this nothing is run. At this point, right, he's got the ball. No one's really moving. He's got a one on one situation. Very good, very good. He couldn't do that last year. That would have been a travel or a turnover, but that was a very good move. Good movement, good yeah. job. He's a good player. That's outstanding. You see different facets of the game. You see that one there with the drop step and the spin, then the hook. Yeah, he's got Defensively a good. Defensively, he's, he's got a great inside game. He got a great, uh, great block down the other end. You know. Things are much better on the offensive side of the ball. If you can get the ball inside to a very good player like that, doesn't necessarily mean he's going to go up and score every time. Right. But the defense is going to take a step or two down. They're going to focus on him, and then you got to kick it out. And that's when you'll get good open threes like Iona is doing to us. But again, we got to get the ball inside, attack the gaps, and move it quicker. Great job so far. 
you guys would always, I'm sure it was Coach Willard's thing, but it, it had to go through the paint. The, every, all the offense had to go inside out. Absolutely. Um, again, we weren't that great of a shooting team because he reminded us every five minutes. <laughs> but, but we had to get the ball inside to, to Josh Sankey's or Pat Wordy uh, for a good inside out game. And, um, you know, that's what you need to do. And, right. and, and eventually we had good open shots. If we were open, we were going to knock them down. Unlike right. this Iona team, I mean, they're hitting shots from 40 feet out with a hand in their face sometimes. We were not that team. So you have to get it inside out. And we're not shooting the ball particularly that well, Holy Cross, uh, in the first half and even in this half. So let's get it inside, get some buckets, get some man ones, get some stops, and then we'll start getting some open threes. They've turned the momentum of the game certainly now by doing that, by going energy, inside. Yep, and energy as well. Floyd taking them on A couple on dunks, a couple blocks. Right. Holy Cross trailing by nine. Hands got to get up. Get the hands up. Got to get your hands up. Get some deflections here. Iona has been living with the three. Count the basket. Oh, man. That's actually pretty good defense. Good help by Floyd. Good move. Much will go to the line and attempt the first free throw of the night for Iona with 9.56 to play in the game. I didn't see a foul there. Did you see a foul there? No. No. <laughs> but I never do. I, you it's know, true. So. It's true. As yeah. a player and now a coach, you do, there's no, never a time that you're going to agree with the officials. And I saw one of your tweets that even you were talking, even though the calls went your way in a youth basketball game. Oh, yeah. That no, apologizing to the other the team. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know. Up, oh, she was off. We got a shoe on the court. Good move by Benzin. Good rebound by Floyd. See, I love that move by Benzin there. That's what he needs to do. He's, for a kid his size, he gets to the rim better than anybody really yeah. does. It's, it's, it's actually quite incredible for someone his size how, how good he gets to the rim. But I'd like to see some more of that from our other guards as well. 5'11", but as you mentioned, he's not afraid to take oh, it right to tough. the teeth of the defense. I like him a lot. Good talk here. He's communicating well right now on the defensive end. Yeah, and that's a leader. Like yep, you said exactly. that's one of the things exactly. they had to do, and that's rebound. a leader. What a rebound by Floyd. Great job. Great job. Much was up changing light bulbs in the heart yeah. center. He was way <laughs> up there. What are we doing here? Move the ball. Move the ball. Move the ball. Here's Zignorski. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Zignorski calling out a play. Here's Grandison. They get it quickly to the wing. Rebound. Floyd. Just get a rebound here. Get a rebound. Quick Off box. the front of the rim. Griffin gets the rebound for Iona. Griffin can run the floor. Another corner three. Kazmir, he's got a handful of them tonight. Good, good, push, push, Benzin push. coming back the other way. Benzin elevates, good off the window, no good. Battles for the rebound. Loose. Good push by Benzin there. Got to hit that shot, got to hit that layup, but that's a good push. Great rebound by Floyd. No second chance shots. Secured it, got it to pad, push the floor. Everything was great, but we just got to make the shot. There's Pat Benzin. Good Benson move. battling. Again, 5'11", you know. Griffin 6'7", 215. Yep, good fight in Pat Benson. 8.34 to play. This is the time for Holy Cross to make another run. They trail it by 12 right now. Let's get a stop here. It's going to start on the defensive end. Loose weak ball. Corner, weak side corner. Weak Iona side corner. Collects. And the three knocked down by Srandrelik. I think he can shoot the ball. Yeah, he's got four threes tonight. Well, anyone with a last name like that, you know automatically they can shoot the ball. You're right. You know? Four of seven from three-point range. Europeans, they love oh, the long man. ball. Yeah. <laughs> Corner. Green. Up fake, elevates, no good. Floyd kept it alive. Benson goes to the floor Love for it, it. gets Love it to it, Grandison. Grandison for three. Great job and by Pat Benson. Butler hits the floor hard, as does Griffin. Both players hit the floor hard, both are back up. 
love this energy right now from Holy Cross. Guys are hitting the floor, guys are fighting. Pat Benson is all over the place. Tough play, it looks like they're all right though. Yep. But you're right, this is where you're building the culture and Absolutely. you're building the character. We're gonna take a timeout at the Heart Center, Iona in front 60 to 45. We'll be back with more after this. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. Join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, I'm Dale Page, And I'm Jennifer Ankoiak from Charter TV3's entertainment show, WooTube. Be sure to tune into WooTube every month for local music and comedy videos. And if you go chasing rabbits, try to raise them. Stand up and be counted. Uh, can you take my... Interviews with local venue owners and upcoming events in your area. It's your music and your comedy videos, all the events you want to attend, and all the places you want to be. Woo -tube. All right, we're back to the Heart Center. Kevin Shea, Jared Curry. 7.42 to play. I own it in front 60 to 45. Griffin at the free throw. Iona's in the bonus. So Griffin will be shooting one and one. Got to get box out there. Left, 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 right. Griffin hits the first free throw. He has three points. He hits them both. Get the ball back inside here. They're picking up the pressure a little bit here, Iona. And they've been effective in doing, yeah, like you yeah, said. They're just slowing it down. Yeah. Slowing it down. Not now that there's 19 turnovers. seconds on the clock now. Got to get it inside. Floyd calls for it. Give it to him. Oh, give him the ball. Six on the shot clock. The three off the mark Good from job Ego. By Floyd. Great job. Floyd cut down the, the key right there. And Benson had an opportunity to give him the ball from the corner, which he probably should have done, instead of kicking it out to Father Freshman for another deep three. Again, we're seeing some, su some success if we get the ball inside. Well, it'll be a good recipe, too, especially for the Patriot League. Benson, Love count Benson. it. Yeah, that's classic Pat Benson right there. It's fantastic. 5'11". Unbelievable. Oh. Benson will go to the line looking to complete the three-point oh, play. I love that kid. Here's the inbound play here. Simple play. Benson just sees an opportunity. Cuts right down in the trees, in traffic, knocked it down. Great play. Benson, again, a starter earlier in the season. He's been coming off the bench just the last couple games. Averaging nine points a game. Really like his game. I love his, uh, his mental approach to the game. Look at him, he's the only one yelling out there right now. Yep. Yeah, you're right. He's the only one. See him? Yep. Now Floyd's saying a couple things, but you're right. Yeah. And that's what you need. You, you need, need it all to be five contagious. You need all five of them. Yep. And it'll become a teaching moment yep. after the game when they, they're looking Great at pass. film. Great Griffin. Pass. But you're right. So much of defense is communication. That's all it is. Let's see if they can get it inside again to Floyd. Give the ball. Baseline. Look baseline. They do go baseline to Benzin. Yeah. Charles for three. Good shot. Carl Good. Charles Good. drills at three. Good play. Ball got inside, got kicked out for a nice open three. Now Eight we got to get a stop. Let's get a stop. 
Eight points for Carl Charles tonight. 64-51, Iona with the ball and the lead. Looks like we're in a matchup type zone here. Trying to extend yeah. on those three-point shooters and get a little bit more pressure on them. Jacob Grandison coming in for Holy Cross. Another freshman. Uh -huh. Good-looking crop of freshmen that Holy Cross has. You think of this group, too, and every coach talks about the biggest jump that kids take is from freshman to sophomore year. Yeah. You look at this group and what's going to happen. Oh, they're going to do some special things. I just know they are. They really are. Benzin with a rebound. See, look at the push here from Benzin. It's fantastic. That's a great pass. Charles, great. now Green for three. Good job by Floyd. Floyd, offensive rebound. Floyd. Floyd's been a beast tonight. Oh, he's been great. Up that, and down the That's floor. a great push by Pat Benzin to kick it to Charles. Another good pass. Floyd's got nine rebounds, nine points, working on a double-double. Benzin for three. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, Floyd's a beast. Let's get a stop. The energy and the competitiveness that's picked up, you know, 100% since Pat Benz has come in the game. Ten point game right now. As you said, you get a stop here. Get a stop. Cut it to single digits. Stop. Another corner three. That's a killer. That's a killer. Kazmir has six threes tonight. Don't pick up your dribble there. 67-54, Iona in front. Bill Carmody said, I really like playing these teams. I want to play more than New York City teams. I want to play St. John's. I want to play Iona. Love it. We have a ton of a ton of alums in New York, and we're going to go next year. They'll play at Iona. He said, we got a lot of alums in New York City. I, I want to play these good teams and let them see us. Yeah, a lot of recruits in New York City. Yeah, you, oh, <laughs> God. That is such a hotbed. Yeah, it really is. I played with... Uh, Two kids from Jersey, Brian Wilson, Mark Jers. Very, very tough, great players. And also Jave Mead from New yep. York. Gio Sanchez from uh, Washington Heights, New York. That's right. They play with an edge. Yeah, I forgot about that. Jave Mead. Oh, Jave was the best. Just, yeah, he was the best. Gio actually came on as a walk-on. He ended up being one of our better players. Yeah, that's right. He was fantastic, but just tough. Played with an edge. 67-54, Holy Cross in front. Bill Carmody said he's, he's looking up at the clock. Had a question with it. Inside to Griffin, Floyd called for the foul. Oh, great play by Floyd. Good lob, though, entry pass to get it inside. Athletic play by Floyd. Let's see if this is a foul. <laughs> he doesn't agree. <laughs> and I think I agree with him. What do you remember about, of course, the, the great run your senior year uh, playing at the Nassau Coliseum in Long Island against Kentucky in the first round of the NCAA tournament and giving them all they could handle? And I think they had two or three guys that were going to the NBA that very next year, yeah, probably four or five total on the team. Yeah, they had Keith Bogans and uh, Tayshawn Prince, who I believe were all Americans at the time, and uh, Tayshawn and Keith, I believe were first round draft picks. Um, a lot of fun. We matched up really well with them. You know, they're a very good team, but we were very big, and we had some pretty good strong guard play. We matched up really well. Um, but one thing I do remember from that game, they were how incredibly cocky they were in the beginning, in the first, in the warm-ups. Like they, they were just almost bored to be there, you know? And I knew, and not just me, but every other guy in the team, we knew we had a shot just by their reaction in warm-ups. Right. Their demeanor. And yeah. you... You guys were a team that you would have taken that personally and taken that as, yeah, as fuel. We'll absolutely. take a time out and continue with this story right on the other side of the break. I'm District Attorney Joe Worley, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. You never know what a few words can do. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and their communities. 
join the anti-bully crusade, take a stand to lend a hand, don't be a bully. Presented by the Law Offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. Hi, my name is Tiffany Holland. I'm Zach Lanning. I'm Megan McGeary. My name is Ed Ryan. And welcome to College of the Holy Cross. So when I was looking at colleges, I had a ton of questions. Like, can I play my violin and study to be a doctor? This is where I ask, how many ways can I surprise people? What does it mean to be on a team? Who am I and where am I headed? At Holy Cross. The more I ask, the more I learn. Holy Cross. Ask more. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch at UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. Welcome back. Our first high school game of the year will be Friday, January 5th, North Middlesex at Quabbin, up in the hinterlands. But getting back to the story, um, you know, obviously he was down in the final two minutes and it was a one possession game. Yeah, and, and, and Tayshawn Prince, who ended up having an incredible career in the NBA, hit a three to basically ice it out on us. But he hit a three because we made a mental mistake. We, we made a switch on a play when we weren't supposed to switch. We were instructed not to switch, and someone called that a switch, and I'm not going to say who, and we, <laughs> we switched. So he uh, had a mismatch, and he hit the three, and that was it. But um, it's just funny. It's just this game is, is the little things. It's all about, the, you know, the mental right. aspect and how you approach it and following the game plan. And uh, right now it looks like Holy Cross is following their game plan offensively a little bit by getting it inside and out, and we just need to get some more stops. 68-56 Iona with 3.48 to play, and now the officials are looking at a replay here. I don't know what they're looking for. Uh, you know, when I'm watching this on TV, I never know what they're looking for either, and it's I'm right next point. to them, and I still don't know what they're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something happened. 348 to play. Iona with a 12-point lead. Let's get a stop here. Let's get it. Let's cut this to under 10. Another three. And this Crawford could be down nails it. Crawford's a good shooter. Of course, everyone's a good shooter when you're that You're wide right. open. Three threes for Crawford all in the second half. Holy Cross will travel to Siena after this. It's a and tough I, place to play, Siena. Iona will travel to URI. Grandison nails the triple. Good shot. 14 points for Granderson, the freshman. This and is I mean, unbelievable. I mean, Munch comes back and hits the three. That's crazy. That is a new heart center record. Right. That's for sure. It has to be. I've never seen anything like this. I would hate to be in the film room tomorrow for Holy Cross. That is 23s for Iona. The old record here was 15 in a game. Iona has shattered that mark with 20. 74-59. Back. Crawford good spins. Good move. Good dig. Good dig. Good Granderson dig. Great ties job him by up. Granderson. Didn't give up on the play. It was a good move by Crawford. Good dig by Granderson. Well, you can see too where Iona was talking about how St. John's gave him fits because they had so many deflections. He said it wasn't that they stole the ball; they just got a lot of deflections. Yeah. So that they they didn't get those open looks. Yeah. Like, again, like when I said we had to get 40 deflections per game. Um, and, and if you tracked it, even in our losses, we had 36, 37, 38. And every win we had was over 40. And we held, and every win we had also, we held teams to under 40% shooting from the floor. Right. So it was all math, basically. Right. You know? Good pass. Yeah. And the mantra was when you, when you play defense, you win. 
Yeah, that's it. You know, you know especially at this level, the low to mid-major Division One level. I mean, everybody can score. Anybody right. can score. But if you really want to get wins, you got to make teams uncomfortable. The only way you're going to do that is through the defensive end of the ball. Yeah. See a couple Doherty High teachers here to root on Eric Eaton. A happy homecoming <laughs> for Eric Eaton. Great coach. He is. He's a great coach. He's a great guy. Did a phenomenal job at Quinnipiac. He was with a couple other local guys, Sean Doherty, who coached you here yeah. at Holy Cross. Yeah. Tommy Moore, who's from yeah. Central Mass and coached at UConn for years. But I had a good number of coaches here at Holy Cross. And, and trust me, if I, if I didn't think Coach Eaton was a good coach, I'd tell you right now. That's true. <laughs> but uh, I, I really love playing for him. He's very knowledgeable. And, he, and, he, and I wanted to work hard for Coach Eaton. And, and I'm pretty sure uh, at some point during his career, he'll be uh, the head guy in charge. Yep. Griffin on the leader. And he was worried about you maybe slipping and swearing. Yeah, that still can happen, year. Kev. We have a minute and a <laughs> half left. You don't point. know where this is going to go. That's a good point. <laughs> 140 to play. Benzin, no good. Oh, that's a push off, ref. Come on, ref. <laughs> that's Braintree coming out right there. <laughs> that's exactly what that's coming out. Get a box out. Good rebound by Floyd. Floyd has Don't it knocked it away. Here comes Green. Deep three from Butler. He's going to be a really good player. He really is. He's got a good build on him, too, for a freshman. Yeah, you look at this team and you look at the freshmen and you think they're not that far away. No, you know, really even not. the score is 76 62, but it's kind of not indicative. Like, this team is just shooting lights out. And, like, yep. as you mentioned, you got to tighten things up on defense. But when everyone gets that and gets the importance of communicating, talking on defense, yeah. mentally being there of, of where you have to be. Good shot by Butler there. Kick and shoot. Good footwork. He's strong, too. Yeah. He's got a good build. That's a deep shot. But gonna, Holy Cross is going to be a tough matchup. They are predicted to finish eighth. In the preseason, they were picked to be eighth in the Patriot League. I think they'll do better than that. But again, to your point, Kev, about freshmen, you know, by the time you get to league play, you're really no longer a freshman. Right. Specifically, if you've been playing a good amount. And these freshmen have been playing a good amount. Right. So by the time that you really get to league play, they're no longer uh, really freshmen. Casimir has 20 points tonight. <laughs> 21, another high scoring affair. Yeah, they for really, Iona. You know, they, they've got almost 80 points, and this is exactly what they wanted to do. And that's their that's their MO. I mean they're a high scoring team. Yeah. And but I mean the, the number of threes, the both of these teams have shot up. I I know I sound like a grumpy old man, but this is incredible. <laughs> the amount of threes these teams are putting up. It's crazy. And the success. It's one thing to shoot another them three. and then to hit them. Oh, another three. three. With a three. Good shot. Another freshman knocking down a three. Yep. This cash more seconds. Good. He split that double with ease right there. He's a good player. Yeah, they, they have a lot of, Iona has a lot of good players. And we mentioned it, there's a lot of JUCO transfers and, uh, and, and even just regular college transfers. And so every game they play together, every practice oh, they're, they're together, they're just going to get better and better. Absolutely. Ball. Yep. Floyd good had a good game. Floyd. Good game. It's kind of quiet in the first half. Uh, in the, well, the, the first half of the first half, he was kind of quiet. They got him the ball a little bit, got him more active, and he came alive. Yeah, this is certainly a game He's that a he can build upon. Yep. I'd love to see them get him the ball more, though. Well, and this may be the blueprint, too, that they look at yeah. and say, you know what, uh, yeah. this is what we need to yeah. do. And, and li you know, hearing what you're saying and looking at the success when in the second half when they went inside yeah, to him. Get him the ball. I can't see another three. Please don't let this be another three. <laughs> Grandison tried to get the steal. It'll be Iona ball with 31 and a half seconds to play. Iona in front, 80 to 65. 
Will Powers comes in the ball game for Holy Cross. Clayton Lasson as well. Oh, Kyle Copeland. You've got 30 seconds. Let's see what you can do. Yep. Freshman and the sophomore getting their first taste of game action tonight for Holy Cross. C fourth feeds it inside. Mm. Up and in, the big guy, Tyrell Williams. Butler for three. You know, I, I, I love Butler's oh. mindset. I love it as for a freshman. 12 points on four threes for Butler. Yeah. You're right, though. You have he's, to have that I just love it. He's, swagger. He's got a little bit of a swag. I love it. Iona holds on to the ball. They win it 82 to 68. Team. But as we mentioned, Holy Cross, you know, you got you got a lot to build off of here. They do. They got a ton of potential. They're young. They got a lot of freshmen. You know, I, I think if they can just uh, round some stuff out on the defensive end, um, you know, they're only going to get better from here. And I think it'll be a lot better team come uh, league play. All right, Iono victorious tonight as they take down Holy Cross 82 to 68. Our next broadcast comes your way Friday, January the 5th. It's North Middlesex and Quabbin High School boys basketball for our producer director. Sean Grady, Jared Curry, and our entire crew. I'm Kevin Shea. Thanks for watching, everyone, and so long from the Heart Center. <laughs>